All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to oh, another wife of of course, versus Donnell. And um, yeah, I'm feeling like last battle did not go necessarily that well. I barely, barely cut that win. And uh, I think we're gonna keep being in there, that type of area where I'm not gonna say winning is impossible, but rather unconventional at best. And um, we'll see what that means depending on the matchup versus Donnell. I actually like this team, but yeah. <laughs> Cinderace is tough. The reason Cinderace kind of stings on me, or even actually Dragapult too, is um, we don't deal necessarily that well with that. We have one good trait here though, and that is he doesn't have a spinner much like me. So I want to get webs up early, and uh, I do believe most of the matchup besides Lies like and Rock do allow that to happen. Lightning Rock is super, super tough on me. So we need that thing speed down because that could very well just eat me up. And um, if Sin raises with heavy duty boots, then it's gonna be just as much rougher for that. Um, but my thought process is get up webs and uh, take it from there. If he leaves off with Sin I'm gonna absolutely switch out. Actually, leaves off with Bolt Hound. That's good. That's really good, actually. Like, Bolt Town still hurts me, but I get webs up. If Healy had lead off with Cinderace or um, Lazarok, and I, then I would have been screwed. Let's see, Fire Fang. We take that alright, though. Like, it's not good, but we did take it. Um, now, do I have a switching versus this? I couldn't say. I don't. Um, I have the slow volt switch. I guess we try and go for that. If we survive a fire thing, then I guess we you know can try to optimize it. Uh, okay, cool. It's probably a figgy. I guess that's all right. Um, that was clearly not uh, the best. Oh yeah, I'm at my I'm plus modest nature. I'm gonna hit myself with confusion. That was a wrong berry, wasn't it? I'm very lucky to get out of that. Um, that was dumb. I was like, why is it figgy? You know it's wrong. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Now in a different kind of conundrum, and that is that... Um, he's still faster than any of my mods. So... I think... I'm gonna try to take a wild charge here and... Um, triple kick him and try to take him out. Does he play... Oh, he has play rough. Mm. <laughs> Okay, this is the full set. Damn, Technician Boost is not that impressive. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Um, so Hitman Top got a kill, I think. <laughs> like, did it? Yeah, I did. Oh, this is it. So, this set is so hard for me to use, right? Because Hitman Top, well, it has got the merit to really get something out of this. It really does struggle though. Let's see, yeah, he has the duty boots. He's all about the duty. Um, it's gonna send in a show, and the thing here is that um, it goes a parable. I think we'll take that all right. Uh, please don't be court change, right? Parable, cool. We take those. Oof. I, I was like, damn, that did a lot. Okay, cool. Clearly a crit. So we'll recover through this. If he sends in Rillaboom, um, yeah, he had court change. Ah, I was, did not want to see that. Good luck getting webs up again. Let's see. Question number two. Can can I still win while not switching out? Rillaboom still is an absolute pain, but at least this U-turn won't do anything to me. Actually, it did all right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Rillaboom makes a ton of sense. I 
I don't like this. Does it Dynamax here or what does it do? Chrome beating. Okay, that's good. I mean, with competitive, that's actually just making me a lot scarier. No, I'm Marvel scale, of course, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, and it wasn't grassy terrain. Hey, why do I get worked up for? We're good. Guess we call in here. I don't believe unless you get a crit, this is this is not your game, buddy. This is this is not how you beat it. Though I shouldn't get too greedy, which means I recover here always. Because if it gets a crit, it basically is over. Right, knockoff, that's gonna do even less. Not to play, not to play. I, I'm feeling melodic. I, I'm clearly already burned, so I don't know why I did that. Let's see, drum beating. Like I said, eventually he can't screw a crit, and that will just eat up my HP bar, and I know that. I think that's roughly still did the same amount of damage. Let's see how much his next drum beating does. I'm feeling really, really nasty, but basically I have no real response here. And he clearly feels that too, like... What do you do here? Stone Age crits? He keeps drum beating, so like I said, eventually he can't score a crit, and that's just gonna ruin me. I'm just glad as long as that doesn't happen. Um, I think I'll settle for four calls and um, take it from there. But now the drum beating did roughly, what's that? Third HP, so I think we're good. It's just the power of my Lord is very low, so even though this is a careful my Lord it still does nothing. This is so impressive though, right? This is like super impressive. Like I never tried a physical Malodic before and I I argue you shouldn't. But uh, one more roost to recover and then we'll start attacking. And this is the point where he gets the crit because he deserves it. Nope, now we were in the 20s. My speed really couldn't go much lower now, could it? I want to see how much this triple axle does because. Or was it triple axle? Uh, and the reason I'm really wondering that is because um, the damage output of my lolly is so bad, like base 60. So I, I think it would take a lot for it to actually work. So there's a drum beating, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're good. And triple actually will do super unimpressive amount of damage. Like I said, it is not your offensive threat. That's not what it's all about. Which just makes that less impressive because of that. <laughs> oh, it goes for Woodhammer. Oh my god, we take those well. The thing is though, like... We have both Inteleon and... Um, the Inteleon and um, Dragapult ahead of us, and I do believe both of them pose a real threat versus me. Oh, ho, ho. this is a man, though. There we go. I like this. I see what you're doing.
So I hope that I am immune to um, endeavor through um, through this. I really hope I am. <laughs> but if not, then I wasted my Dynamax. Let's find out. I am not, but it does take still like half-ish. So, yeah, and I actually realized that the hailstone will damage me too, so that was probably a dumb idea of me. Damn, that's a lot of residuals. Let's see, send in your best bet here, buddy. And I'll consider what mine really could be. Fragapult, alright. And I don't believe we kill Dragapult, actually. <laughs> Let's see, Phantom Force. Alright, so he's stalling that one out, so that's fine. So he gets me to position. Because I will not have a lot of HP left. Let's see, Phantom Force does nothing. Actually, but the thing is I can't take anything from Inteleon But this should kill right? Yeah, yeah, that's awesome I really 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 wish that I can survive whatever that Inteleon is doing right now, but it's so unlikely it is so unlikely And I do believe that para the parable Pokemon just wrap that up but no matter what happens here I am happy because I got my logic to kind of work oh wait Cinderace I don't know I think I can take whatever that guy is throwing at me excuse me but I'm a bit surprised by this play what could you do I don't believe this was a play buddy Basically, if he has Electro Ball, will it be enough? By the way, I love this evolution. It looks so good. This Pokemon like that are the reason I really miss that we that Dynamax was bad because this is a great design. Right, Max Strike becomes normal. How much will it do? How much will it do? Nothing! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, I am... I am in awe by this. He must really be thinking. Keeps Mike striking. And uh, it clearly lowers our speed, but basically he needs that crit. If I were him, I'd actually go for his signature move just to get them. Um, basically, when they do their um, his fireball variant, uh, uh, he will be able to get another side of residual damage onto me. But yeah, I mean, waterfall here. Um, see how much it does. Max Flutterby, right, so a bit surprised it didn't go for his signature move. Won't deny that, as this one didn't even do anything either unless he crits me. Milotic is doing something something else here. And um I don't know. I don't know. Oh that, that was a crit, okay. Whatever Milotic is doing, it's not a lot. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll recover again. Um, I think he U-turns here. Saving that Pokemon a little bit because I think, honestly, that Inteleon is his best Pokemon to deal with me. Mainly because of its special attack. And 
If I were him, I really hope his scope lens and focus energy, went, which is why I kind of was thinking that that was going to be the switch in every time. Um, but we'll see what happens. But basically, I don't believe I have the means of dealing with Inteleon at all. Because I believe a Dark Pulse will do like a third of my HP easily. And if it does something like that, then I'm probably going to reconsider and switching out because I need to be able to deal with Melodic, or I mean with his uh, Cinderace. Um, U-turns. Wait, is he physical? No, he couldn't be. I mean, it does have something like Soul Stance, it could be physical, but I'm just... Why? Right? No wonder he doesn't know what to... Oh, <laughs> poor Lycanroc. This was a guy I fed. This was absolutely the Pokemon that's probably gonna settle the game so completely. And now it looks like Melodic is just gonna wrap this game up. To be honest, I really thought Rillaboom was gonna win this matchup, but since it wasn't um, the Gigatamax variant, which would have been able to beat Melodic. Um, because the Grassy Glide variant don't beat this Melodic if it is a plus one. And that's something to keep in mind. Um, so right, let's see what you had. What do you got, buddy? Show me. Because I sure as hell don't have anything. Alright, he cancelled. That's fair. That's fair. So, yeah. We got a little bit of a, a physical Melodic showcase there. That was weird. Um, probably not gonna use this set that much more often because uh, it necessarily wasn't that impressive, but uh, I got something good out of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. 70 minutes of Melodic just existing, and that's always a pleasure. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you guys, as always, take care. I really mean that. Have a great day. Bye.